Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry for not uploading in a little while, but there's been a few things that's been going on here lately. I just got done siliconing the back header to where hopefully the water will not come in through the header and the, the existing wall of the barn. I didn't show that on camera because again, I don't want to bore you guys with the details of the, those kind of things. But it's been raining out here the last two days, so I came out here to silicone, just got it done as soon as possible. I do have a hold of some metal for the roofing, but I'm not sure if I have enough. I'm hoping I have enough of this stuff. If so, I'm in good shape. Because, again, I've already got my sheathing, but I just don't want to put it on yet until I get my roof on. That way I can start focusing on trying to stack this roof metal up to see how far I, I can get with it. And I've got different shapes and sizes and everything, and it's got to make it work, right? I mean, it's got to make it work. Today I'm also going to go ahead and start trying to build my studded walls to be able to put up along the frame and go from there. Alright, I need seven of them at 89 and a half. most of the time for the last couple days so I saw a little bit of daylight today and thought maybe come out here and try to get some of this done uh, chop all these up and get these on all assembled up all at once. Basically I'll be pulling this up and pushing it up against the two beams. Attached to the side beams, there's a wall. Yes, I'm gonna be putting, I'm gonna be hammering these in by hand because my framing nailer, I realized the nails are thin. I wanna make sure I'm nice and square on these others. Kind of tough having a gravel floor. These nails are just so much more beefier. They help out so much. They work so much better. My studded walls were literally just 
like I could just bend them out. Like, I mean, the, the nails were just thin. This stuff kills my back right here. I wish that thread nail wasn't, but those nails were thicker. That made it a lot easier. This puts my back to the test. This makes me hurt pretty bad in the evenings. Someone will be in here. Oh, well, check that out. Four. Wow. I went from getting one for the longest time, and then all of a sudden came out to two. That's why I realized both were all reds, the oldest ones, oldest hens were laying. And then noticed that he foghorn. Watch, see if he drops that wing. I know it's a lot of times too. See, he'll drop that wing. Look, even with the, even with the dog. <laughs> Roosters are not. They're not no. They're not no punk. They got the heart of a lion. There's so many names I have for this thing now. The ultimate lean-to style chicken coop. There we go. But I was pretty discouraged to be honest with you. I mean, I put a lot of time and effort into this thing and they're, they're, again, they're going back and forth. So the inspector come, came out. Very nice guy. Couldn't ask for a nicer inspector. Um, Everything is, on his end, is good to go. He basically said for me to fill out an ag permit. I should be hearing something within, a, around the middle of this week, it's today's Sunday, as I'm hoping, and I'm going to get back on it. I was in such a hurry to get this done because of the, the back and forth, yes, you could go. No, you could stop. That I just... I didn't have time to mess with the camera. So now, I have a huge beam going across the whole center of this, all the way down, all the way even through the chicken coop, to support the roof. Here's the, the chicken coop. Give me a good sized chicken coop. But yeah, I, I'm liking it. I'm excited. It's just the, the excitement keeps going up and then the hope goes down then up and then down until it was like like I told you guys earlier in the video here is what was gonna be just a se separate building for another chicken coop I was just like you know what screw it you know what I ain't got time to mess with all this if they're gonna give me trouble about this and build something for these guys because they they need somewhere warm I don't want them to be cold but yeah here's the metal I have Right here, I mean, I know it's hard to tell how many I've got to go across that whole um, roof. But anyway, alright, this is going to be the end of this video because I have been rambling on about the whole permit thing and the back and forth. Like, yes, you can do it. No, you got to stop. Yes, you can do it. No, you got to stop. This, I think, is the fifth time around in two weeks' time that I'm waiting on the okay go you're good to go you got the ad permit so i'm looking for them to say yes so like and subscribe for us please would really appreciate it um comment below but until then i'm signing out and i'm gonna try to get uh, a little rest my back's been killing me 
if they don't come back with that permit saying it's good to go tomorrow, I'm taking it easy tomorrow, probably more than likely to, you know, my regular chores, my daily regular chores, but yeah, my back's killing me. So guys, I'm going to sign out of here for now. Love you all. Um, I'll see you. Peace.